If Yugi doesn't show up soon, you automatically win the duel, sir. Hmm. He'd be a fool not to show up. Mr. Kaiba, with all due respect, he only has two minutes. Thanks to Wheeler's little mishap, Yugi's wasting his time in the medical ward. But even his pathetic friends can't keep him away from our duel. For whoever wins faces Merrick for the championship. Yugi, we mustn't let Joey's struggle interfere with our concentration. <laughs> Remember, in order to overcome Merrick, we must get past Kaiba. <laughs> Well, well. Yugi, so, you decided to show up after all. Of course. To miss this duel is to deny my destiny. Spare me the drama. The second duel of the semifinals will now begin. So, why didn't the nerd herd show up to cheer you on? Are they too busy trying to wake Wheeler up from his nap? <laughs> Joey is in a great deal of danger now. More than you could ever know. Wheeler shouldn't have been here in the first place. I warned him not to play with the big boys, and if you ask me, he got just what he deserved. A slap in the face by Ra. And if getting attacked by an Egyptian god card didn't knock any sense into that kid, then nothing will. That's enough, Kaiba. You have no idea how dangerous this Duel Monsters tournament of yours has become. The outcome of the Battle City Finals could put the whole world at risk. The only one at risk is you. For once I win, you won't be number one. Kaiba! It's not always about being number one. It's about dueling with bravery, honor, and respect. And most importantly, putting the needs of others ahead of your own. And that's something Joey Wheeler did every day of his life. The reason he's in that hospital bed is because he put himself in harm's way. Just to keep a promise to a friend. Hm, pathetic. Listen, Wheeler can do whatever he wants, but I'm in this thing for one reason only, and that's to win the tournament and be recognized as the greatest duelist in the world. So why don't you save your Girl Scout speech for someone who actually cares? As far as I'm concerned, Wheeler never really belonged here in the first place. Come on, Joey. Keep fighting! I know you can get through this! Huh? Check it out! It's just a reflex. He's still out of it. Come on, Joey. Hey, why isn't that emergency chopper here yet? I'm gonna find Mokuba. Hang in there, bro. Poor Joey. When did this tournament get so out of control? The reason I joined the Battle City Tournament was to fulfill Ashizu's prophecy and stop this great evil Ugh. from endangering mankind. It's not fair! Why should my friends have to suffer just because some evil nutcase can't control his temper? You look troubled, Taya. Huh? Ashizu! I know it seems as though we'll never be delivered from this darkness, but you must have faith in the light. Yugi... This is it! I have to win this duel! For the sake of Joey and the entire world! Every duel I've fought in this tournament has led up to this moment. The moment I finally take down Yugi Moto and regain my top dueling status. The last semi-final duel will now begin. I repeat, this duel will end the semi-finals. <laughs> All right, now! Get ready, Yugi! We're about to find out which one of our Egyptian god cards reigns supreme! So let the epic battle begin! The winner of this duel will advance to the championship round to face Marek Ishtar for the Battle City Crown! You're about to lose your Egyptian god card and your reputation! And a duel this momentous deserves an appropriate setting, wouldn't you agree, Yugi? Observe the latest in holographic technology! I think you'll find this environment quite fitting. Huh? Explain! I just want to take you down in style, Yugi. So observe! Welcome to Duelist Coliseum! Go Kaiba! Go Kaiba! Go Kaiba! Go Kaiba! Go Kaiba! Go Kaiba! 
you do. In ancient times, Roman gladiators would battle to their doom in order to prove who was the strongest. Now it's our turn to see which one of us deserves to call himself the greatest in the world. So draw your first card and let the battle begin! With pleasure, Kaiba! Everything is riding on this duel! I've got to stay focused and win this! Here we go! All right, let's duel! I summon this! Queen's Knight in defense mode! Next, I'll place one card face down. And that's all. Yeah, whatever. I've drawn my Egyptian God card on my first turn. Crushing Yugi may be easier than I thought. All I have to do is sacrifice three monsters. I wonder if Kaiba is planning to use the same strategy he used against the Shizu in his last duel. Watch this! Force Raider attack her Keldo now! <laughs> Face down cards, go! First up is my Shrink card. It cuts my Force Raider's attack points in half. This allows my Crush card to destroy both monsters on the field. And if that weren't enough, it also destroys every powerful monster in your entire deck. <gasps> Kaiba may try to destroy my deck like he did a Shizu's. But then again, knowing Kaiba, he's got a whole new strategy planned for me. And now, I summon my X-Head Cannon in attack mode. Next, I'll activate a magic card. Does it look familiar? It spells Sanctuary. Yes, and it lets us both move one magic card from our deck to our hand. So it looks like you were wrong when you said I never help out anyone but myself, Yugi. Now, choose the magic card that I was nice enough to let you have, so I can move on! That was weird. Why would Kaiba want me to have instant access to my favorite magic card? Whichever card he chose must have been worth the risk! I'll place one card face down and end my turn. Before long, Yugi will be staring into the face of defeat. Yo, Mokuba, what's up with the rescue team? I can't get through. Something's interfering with our communications. We need that helicopter now! Uh, uh, Mayday, this is an emergency. Anyone! We need medical help now! Joey, I know you can hear me. Please don't give up. Keep fighting, big brother. Huh? Who said that? And where exactly am I anyway? Huh? It's my dueling deck. Right, that's it. I'm dreaming about kicking butt at Duel Monsters. Poor Joey. <laughs> hmm. It won't be long before I control the world. And the Pharaoh bows down before me. Kaiba! 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 Soon I'll give my adoring public something to really cheer about! Now, Kaiba, my move! Kaiba's X-Head Cannon is stronger than my Queen's Knight! So why didn't he attack me when he had the chance? He must be up to something. I summon Alpha, the Magnet Warrior, in defense mode! And then, I'll play one more card, face down. Your move, Kaiba. Hmm. If Yugi thinks he can hide behind those pathetic monsters of his, this duel will be over even sooner than I thought. Now! Observe! Excellent. Everything is falling right into place. First off, I'll activate this magic card. Soul Exchange! That's why you spared my queen. Very perceptive! Thanks to my Soul Exchange Magic Card, both of your monsters now belong to me, Yugi! So come forth, my monsters! Now I can sacrifice them along with my monster to summon my Great Beast! I'm afraid not, Kaiba! Reveal my Face Down card! Change of heart! No! Yes, I'm afraid so, Kaiba! 
Thanks to my change of heart magic card's effect, you no longer have three monsters to sacrifice! Now your X-Head Cannon belongs to me for one turn! Kaiba! You won't summon Obelisk that easily! Now go! <laughs> so you've prevented one move. I've got plenty more planned. Like this one! Reveal face down card! Enemy controller! What? For the price of a thousand life points, this control pad lets me take command of one of your monsters! Enemy controller, activate! Left, right, A, B! And now, bring my X-Head Cannon back to my side of the field so I have three monsters to sacrifice once again! My strategy was foolproof! I sacrifice Alpha, Queen's Knight, and X-Head Cannon! And now... Obelisk the Tormentor! Come forth! Hold on, Kaiba! Go, Light Force Sword! Oh, no! Oh, yes! Now your Obelisk the Tormentor is completely useless to you for three turns, Kaiba! Thanks to my Light Force Sword! What's your rush? This duel's just getting interesting, Kaiba. Why try to end it so soon? You may have bought yourself a little time, but you'll have to face down Obelisk sooner or later. Where's Tristan already? That helicopter better be on its way. Joey needs help now. You're right. The evil inside Merrick must be defeated in order to reverse the damage that's been done. But will the winner of today's duel be strong enough to stop him? Your soul exchange card is no longer in effect, which means you're not able to sacrifice my monsters, because you don't control them anymore! And Obelisk will have to wait! <sighs> I won't be waiting as long as he thinks. In just three turns, Yugi's Life Force sword wears off, and Obelisk returns to my hand. And by then, I'll have another way to summon it. My turn may be over now, but you're not safe yet. All right, my move. So far, I have two monsters on the field. One more, and I'll have enough sacrifices to summon my Egyptian God card, Slifer the Sky Dragon. But first, I have to draw Slifer from somewhere in my deck. Anyway, for now I have to deal with Kaiba's X-Head Cannon. Neither of the monsters I have on the field are strong enough to take it down. And nothing in my hand has that kind of power either. So, I'll just have to be patient. Now, I play one card face down. Then I'll leave both of my monsters in defense mode and end my turn. Hmm. I expected more of a challenge from the top-ranked duelist. If he keeps playing it safe, my obelisk will wipe him out in no time. <laughs> my move! <laughs> this duel should be amusing. I wonder which of these fools will summon his Egyptian god card first. Not that it really matters, of course. Ha! Before long, they'll both belong to me. For whoever wins this battle will be confronting me in the most treacherous shadow game ever played. And then, when the shadows engulf my opponent, I shall reign supreme! <laughs> Ready, Yugi? I play this! Go! Why, Dragon Head? Notice anything similar about my two monsters? Think about it, Yugi. This isn't a tough question. One is X-Head Cannon, and the other is Y-Dragon Head. Oh, hold on. Are these two monsters able to combine together? That's right. Any two of the XYZ monsters can merge together to form a new, more powerful beast. Now my monsters join! Behold, XY-Dragon Cannon! Oh. Once I summon my Z-Monster, my Dragon Cannon will get even stronger! Oh no! If Kaiba merges his Z-Monster with the others, that dragon will be unstoppable! 
So, I'll have to keep my monsters in defense mode for now. But once Obelisk is set free, Kaiba can sacrifice his three-headed beast to summon his Egyptian guard guard. I have to do something to stop him. And I've only got two more turns to figure out what. Now, my XY Dragon Cannon, attack his Magnet Warrior. Yugi, say goodbye. Since my monsters are in defense mode, my life points are safe for now. But if he wipes them out with his XY Dragon, I'll be wide open. And his obelisk can crush me with one strike. <laughs> you look so worried. Afraid of losing in shame, are we? Once a duelist starts thinking about defeat, they've already lost. Enough! Perhaps it's time you surrendered your Egyptian god card to me! <sighs> Interesting. Kaiba seems to be in control. I'll enjoy seeing the Pharaoh squirm. Now I activate Lullaby of Obedience! <sighs> This magic card allows me to take a high-powered monster from your deck and add it to my hand! And I have a feeling you know which monster I have my eye on, Yugi. <laughs> it's your Egyptian god card! Slifer the Sky Dragon. It was only a matter of time, Yugi, before your most powerful card went to a much more worthy duelist. <sighs> This card will return to me. I doubt it. I wouldn't feel so bad if I were you. Slifer was buried so deep in your deck, you never would have drawn it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it appears Seno Kaiba outwitted the Pharaoh. Both Egyptian god cards are mine. Know why? Because everyone gets what they deserve. Yes, I agree. And I want to thank you for helping me claim what I deserve. What? Knowing how greedy you are, Kaiba, I suspected you might try to take my Sky Dragon. So I was ready. Reveal Magic Card! Exchange! What? Oh no! Now he can take a card from my hand! I'll never forget the last time I used this card. It helped me rescue Joey from Merrick's mind control. Well, go ahead. Pick one of the cards from my hand. You can have any one you want, including the Red Eyes Black Dragon. It's the card I gave you. My Red Eyes. I'm in control of your body, and you will take that Red Eyes. No. Yugi needs it. I can't. Yes. <gasps> awesome. You didn't take it. Ha. Yeah, Joey. I knew you could do it. Joey fought off Merrick's dark power once before, and I know he can do it again! In the meantime, I have to defeat Kaiba and get to the next round! I believe you owe me a card, Kaiba, so give Slifer back to me. Alright! Now we're back on track! Hmm. Now you pick one, so we can get on with our duel. Uh. I appreciate your help. Slifer's in my hand, thanks to you. Yugi! 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 